as an author, tending a panel can be hard work, but I think it's worth it. My name is Bruce Rule. I'm a writer and editor, and I help my clients with a wide range of Appearing on an author panel can be hard work, but I think it's worth it. My name is Bruce Rule, and I'm a writer and editor, and I help a wide range of clients with all their communication needs, uh, social media, reports, articles, speeches, basically anything they need written or edited, I take care of. On top of that, I also teach public speaking, both in workshops and uh, with individual clients. Last year, I published a book called Heartfelt Goodbye, How to Write and Deliver the Eulogy Your Loved One Deserves, and it's gotten a lot of good reviews on Amazon. Uh, you, if you know somebody who's facing a, a loss, it's actually quite a, a nice thing to present them, to help them with uh, writing a tribute for their loved one. And I appeared on a panel this weekend, and I thought it went very well, and I wanted to share with you some of the tips that I think are useful if you're going to be an author who's going to appear on a panel. First of all, a week before the panel, I messaged the moderator and said, hey, do you have some sample questions that you're going to ask? Let me know because I want to be prepared. Now, they didn't answer me directly. Instead, a few days later, they sent out a group message to everybody on the panel with some questions. So either they were planning on doing it or I prompted them to do it. It doesn't matter either way. I just wanted it done. So I had some questions in hand that I could prepare some answers or at least think about them ahead of time. Second thing is, is I've written a nonfiction book, which sort of makes me present as an expert on the subject. So rather than dress down or casually like a fiction author might do, I actually put on a suit and tie because I thought that was a way to convey authority convey the fact that I'm an expert. So I was the only one there in a suit and tie, but it didn't matter because everybody else were fiction writers. Because I'd never been to the location before, and they said, be there a half hour early, I actually drove up an hour before they said I should show up. So in other words, I got to the location an hour and a half before, found out exactly where I needed to be, and then I went and had lunch. And at lunch, I put a windbreaker on so that I didn't get anything on my shirt and tie. You don't want that to happen. And yes, I brought mouthwash to make sure my breath was fresh when I got to the panel. Now, we got to the panel and set up the table in the back with my books and my information. And while the other authors were sort of milling around talking to each other, I was going up to everybody that came in the room, introducing myself, saying, hey, glad you came. Uh, if you have any questions on uh, self-publishing about editing that aren't answered on the panel, please come and talk to me afterwards. Uh, I'm really glad you made it. Work in the crowd. Talked about this in the past. You know, you're going to have a friendlier crowd if they know you already. So always go up and introduce yourself as much as possible. Now, when we were talking, we were seated at, at a table. And there were nine of us. So it's quite the number of people. I was still using hand gestures like I like I, you should. And I was keeping my palms out, which convey openness. I was working the room. I was talking to this part of the room. I was talking to this part of the room. I was talking to the whole room whenever I, I spoke. When I didn't speak, I was sitting up watching whoever was speaking. Audience member was speaking. I was leaning forward, paying attention. Some of my other panelists, they were sitting back like this, with their arms folded, not paying any, not showing much interest. And that's not a good look. You want to show interest at all times when you're on a panel. Now, afterwards, I was offering everybody my business card for my writing services. And then, you know, some authors have bookmarks for their books which I think is a great idea, especially if you're in fiction. But, you know, I I thought a eulogy bookmark kind of in poor taste. So what I did instead was I had a, a card made up with just the title of my book, 
right? And the information on how to buy it. And I was given those in. So I was giving everybody two cards. That was helpful because at least they had two pieces of things with my information on it. If they lose one, they still have the other. And then on top of that, I was the only author that had a sign-up sheet. And this is really important. You know, I put people, hey, thank you for coming. Please sign up for upcoming events and products that I'll be producing. You can unsubscribe whenever you want. I always put that down, name, email. And then to get them to, to sign up, I put two lead magnets, two things I was going to send them for free if they gave me their email. One of them is about editing tips. The other is about public speaking tips. And I had a little column for comments, which I didn't get many of them. But out of 26 people that were in the crowd, 22 people gave me their email. And this is really important if you're an author or any freelancer, actually. You got to have people's emails. You got to build an email list because you're going to want to be in contact with them later on. You're going to want to sell them other products later on. So 22 out of 26, that's a pretty good ratio, you know, to, to get. And I, I was quite happy with that. Now, we did sell a few books in the back of the room. But really, a lot of times, these panels, you're not going to sell a lot of books right then and there. You might sell a few. That's not really the point. The point is you want to get your name out there. You want to promote yourself. You want people to think about you. And yes, your information for later. That's why I think the panel went very well for me. Did it go well for others? I, I don't know. I, I didn't get a chance to talk to many of the other authors afterwards because afterwards we were talking to the people that were there as the audience members and then people were leaving. So I actually don't know if it went well for everybody, but I thought it was a success. Do you have any tips on, on how to deal with a panel or when you go to an event? Um, I'd really appreciate it if you comment down below. I think this is worth sharing because I think authors would learn a few tips from this and please like and uh, and subscribe because that's something YouTube and I would really appreciate very much until next week take care